program. They, there's a car. Probably heard one of their mixes if you've been what up? Lots to unpack in this episode. Welcome back to the Mark Through. We got our guests, Leighton and Sandy of Clark Specialties. They were in town for our college recruit clinic. We were excited to have them in um, visiting, but then also excited that they were willing to be on the podcast. Before we get started, though, I do want to give a shout out to this episode's sponsor, Cheer Chalk. Cheer Chalk is a new product that's out there ready to go for cheerleaders. It's liquid chalk. You just rub it on your hands, Wave them around, let it dry a little bit, and boom. No powdery residue flying through the air, getting in your face. No uh, white handprints all over your uniform. Quick, simple, easy to apply, ready to give you those grips you need. No more slippery hands. So cheerchalk.co. Also on Instagram, at cheerchalk. Check them out. Thanks for sponsoring cheerchalk. Episode four of the Mark Through is an awesome episode talking all about cheerleading music, where it's been, kind of where it's going, and then a bunch of personal conversations besides that about cheerleading and um, our love for cheerleading. So Leighton and Sandy are the all-girl coaches at USF, which is the University of South Florida, and they run Clark Specialties, one of the top music production companies uh, in the industry. If you've been involved with cheerleading for some time now, you've probably heard one of their mixes. Um, if you're interested in getting a new mix or finding a new music provider, clarkspecialties.com is a place to get started. Various packages for styles, um, for need, things like that. So make sure you guys check them out. Uh, Layton puts in a lot of effort into his mixes, a lot of, um, a lot of heart into his mixes. So it's definitely um, a passion project for him. Thank you, Clark Specialties, for joining the podcast. We appreciate you. Thank you guys for tuning in. Make sure you guys like and subscribe. Episode four, music's on. You ready for this? Who live is this? Who lit is this? Who live is this? We're too legit. We are M A R K T H R U. Mark through podcast. Listen and learn. Watch and observe. Challenging us. They got some nerve. He great. You mad? Don't hate. Get to it. Don't wait. We do not hesitate. We do what it takes. What we do? Mark through. <laughs> Witnessing. Clark Specialties. Wait, see. Yes, Clark Specialties. I mean, that's the, that's your guys. How long have you guys, like, officially been running that? Like. So, well, it be, we became a company mm -hmm. in 2011 and 2012. Okay. But, gotcha. like, Layton started making music when. In college. In college. So, <laughs> I met him in 2002, and mm -hmm. he had already, like, started his, like, cool little setup in his room. Yeah, no, I was doing it for, um, rec programs. Like I was working at, like most college students, I was um, I was doing private lessons. Yeah, like just direct teams trying came to, in and needed to do music. Trying to get some cash, yeah. Mm -hmm. So what was the first mix you ever made? Do you remember which team that was for? Yes, Nor Northside Dolphins. Northside Dolphins. Northside yes. Dolphins rec program. Nice, nice. Yeah. I remember they wanted a, um, a dolphin sound. I was like, I could do that. And then we both <laughs> Did you make it yourself? Did you no, find I found one. I <laughs> <laughs> definitely was like, <laughs> Dolphin sound. <laughs> Although we do have some great stories about his first voiceovers. Oh yeah. Remember yeah. when first you mix. Okay, yeah, so, so you had to do voiceovers yeah. in the first mix. <laughs> North, right. Northside Dolphins, but uh, I, I bought a cheap mic from um, a pawn shop. Yeah. And I took a laundry <laughs> basket and put pillows in the back, and I put the microphone Wait, in the middle. Okay. And I put my head in there, and I was like, <laughs> <laughs> Northside. Northside. <laughs> yeah. Well, and, it, and I'm sure the software was so um, weak, so much weaker in yeah. 2002 that you probably had to do your own like voice effect rather yes. than. I also didn't know what I was doing. I, I went back to school later. Yeah. It was so funny it to was see the trial and error. Yeah. You can. Yeah. You stuck your head in a laundry basket yes. full of pillows with a microphone, <laughs> and you're like, "That's hilarious." Well, I was just telling them oh when we were gosh. upstairs with Murph, like when in college when we'd make videos and we'd do voiceovers, we'd use the mic off of. This oh, and we'd sure. go in a closet and we'd just oh. talk into the mic very delicately. Because <laughs> <laughs> it was such a weak microphone that if you like sure. raised your voice, it would just, mm, oh. just storch it gotcha. out of control. I know nothing about yeah. that. Nothing problem, beats though. a phone yeah. ringing or someone knocking yeah. or, or the roommates knocking. Yeah. And was always like, shh, I'm working in here. <laughs> That's funny. Well, and then, I mean, you said you, you know, got formally trained, but I mean, back then there was no even structure of cheer music as an industry 
Right. Like there, there wasn't anything. It was people were making them on their own. It was asking stop, a college stop, kid. Play. Yeah, uh, recording after the radio <laughs> yeah. tapes. Yeah. Um, I mean, shoot, I I, I didn't cheer in high play school pod, like with routines, pod. so I don't even know what it was like back then. Because mm-hmm. you introduced me to cheer music. I did. When I was cheering, cheering in college, yeah. when I was cheering in college, that was the first time I had performed a cheer routine. Like I was never any type of cheerleader before, like competitively. So, yeah. Well, let me ask you a question: Does it help the routine, or does it not? Oh, I think it totally helps. But I come from a video world where audio cues are everything. Ah. Okay. So, like, if I'm like, <laughs> make a sound, <laughs> <laughs> or if I go, yeah, this you talk got a certain level of love for music for cheer because typically for me at least when I started coaching at Briarcrest you know Josh was our choreographer and he was like okay what do you want for music and I was like I literally don't care just like have late and do whatever and he goes no like you you need to pick songs and I was like I just Josh don't was care. Like, I'm not gonna pick. Not gonna pick. <laughs> but then we come to county and Scott's like so I have this idea so like in all this country music they do like county line and like county and like don't give away my good ideas <laughs> <laughs> so he just like is honestly every year just constantly thinking about stuff and he totally learned that like from you so yeah. um, all the times I'd be like hey can you add this and he'd be like no. <laughs> <laughs> I know, see, yeah, no, no. What about this? How do you want me to get that sound? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know enough about sound. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but yeah, music's evolved a crazy amount. I mean, I was at varsity when the whole music rules, USA cheer, like officialness came out, and we all had to pivot our wants and needs to covers and more voiceovers and and there was two it was two divisions you either decided to continue with the covers <clears throat> which i still think they offer a lot more than there's but again that's just opinion i'm, and I'm with you in that then, same then, opinion. yeah because i mean there's nothing wrong with somebody trying to make it big in the in the cheer world mm-hmm. you know with originals and that, you know some some of, very, some of them are very talented yeah like, rappers singers like that's Awesome, but I just, I just think that the right song for the right section is like. Well, and that's what that's what made me so mad about the music thing. I'm like, if you're a musician, aren't you making it music to inspire people? Like, yeah, you're trying to get paid too, because why wouldn't you want to be like a rock star and be rich and famous? But like, aren't you making music you want people to be inspired to? Like, if you wrote the song, so like, isn't this another step further? Like people performing to your work? But it's not the artists that are coming after the cheer industry, it's the labels. Yes. Right. And the labels don't care about the artistic vision. And just making sure people properly give credit to all mm-hmm. the people. And that's exactly. where all the rights come yeah. from. Exactly. Make sure everybody's properly. Mm-hmm. The rules protect the labels, but mm-hmm. then allow the covers to kind of still have the like emotional feel with the music. Like people still mm-hmm. can use the songs they love. Yeah. yeah. But, and if they're mixed the right way, like you can't even sometimes tell no. it's a cover. Yeah, I'm so. not upset by the co- I'm glad that the covers part still exists because if yeah. it was just beats and voiceovers, I'd it's be tough. struggling or, yeah. or originals, like, like you said. said. Yeah, because yeah. like you gotta you gotta have something to go off of or a theme. I'm big on themes or the meaning of words, the lyrics. Well, some of the exciting elements in a cheerleading routine are sometimes seeing like, oh, do you remember that song from the '90s? Okay, like yeah. you know, mm-hmm. like stuff like that. It's like you need those covers. You need that. Yeah. You need the throwback <laughs> stuff. Like. I know when we reveal our music to the girls and we tell you kind of what we're thinking and then you get to put your own spin on it, the most exciting parts are your are your spin on it. Yeah. So like that is and that's, that's the fun part. No, my my exciting part is watching the athletes when they perform the routine and some of them mouthing over some of the songs yes. or, voiceover. or a voiceover or just a particular part of the routine. Where for a split second you could actually tell they're really into what they're doing. Yes. And they look a certain way. They look deaf. They look, you know, they look better doing it because they enjoy what they're hearing while they're doing. They're like performing. Yeah. 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 That has exactly. to be really satisfying for you. Oh. We I, love watching the reaction. Yes. Yeah. Oh. Videos like t- people that record their team's reactions. Oh Those yeah. Are fun. Or the nice uh, emails or text messages I get. Yeah. yeah. But at nationals, my favorite seat is 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 a very middle and just mm-hmm. sit back and and just watch and listen. Now, when you go to nationals, do you 
try to find your teams, your mixes before to like make sure you can watch them? Or is it too many at this point to try to follow through? And it, you're just like, wait, did I make this? It's, did it's, I make this? <laughs> no, we, I can tell because... Yeah, every producer has their style. style. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Okay. Somebody asked me like, sure music nowadays, in my opinion, it's become genres of music, just like uh, rock or country or pop mm -hmm. or whatever. So like my... My genre of music, I tell people, is like a Jamaican pop relaxation, <laughs> like <laughs> the pop kind of, you know. Yeah. It's not like sensory overload, uh, like like mm -hmm. some mixes, you know. Yeah. And there's nothing wrong with that. It's just mm -hmm. whatever style or genre you like. Everybody has. Yes, yes. Yeah. I'll be the first person to tell anybody I do music for. Like, find somebody else if you you know venture out. You never know. Mm -hmm. Like, um, you want to explore a different look or feel for your routine. Go right ahead. That's, yeah. There's nothing wrong with that. Mm -hmm. Especially I mean, if what you're doing isn't working. Yeah, yeah. I'm gonna start paying attention to that now because I've never listened to cheer music like that, and now I feel like I'm gonna notice. I've always wanted you to have like how rappers do, or their producers. It's like Maybach music. <laughs> <laughs> you know, like you wait know, one of those like tags. I've always wanted you to have that. So it's like, even though you can tell the style, I'm like, I want it to be like our specialty. It's ironic yeah. that you said that because this year. There is a, <laughs> no, this year they're talking about even doing it. There is a sound, there nice. is a voiceover in like every mix that I've done that's nice. a very subtle one that like, oh, I did. And sometimes he has like one subtle like sound effect or one subtle like thing that he likes that he'll put like in a couple people's mm -hmm. yeah. just so that it's kind of like a signature. Like remember when the like, you. You, yeah. <laughs> for a while. Uh, yeah, Soldier Boy. <laughs> you, uh, oh, that, yeah. that, that was original. You could use original songs. Mm -hmm. That was like. Yeah. Well, I mean, that was when I was cheering. It was 2007 when that came out, and you K used that. Okay, you. Oh, yeah. 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 That, that ended all our routines for 15 years. <laughs> yeah. It was awesome. Yeah, if you perfect. had a you and your. <clears throat> Team name, mm -hmm. you were getting it. Getting that soldier boy. <laughs> oh yeah. Oh man. Well, on that note, then I'm gonna start off with naming a song from the first routine you ever performed. Do you guys think I, I know you guys had a little bit earlier to think on this? Uh, but, that's, that's, that's easy. Um, okay, so yeah, so the first routine that I performed to Leighton made the music for, as well as the choreography, and it featured Celine Dion, River Mountain Deep. I remember this mix. <laughs> yes, I'm, I'm sure you do, so I'll play a little, a little bit of it. Well, we'll play the Celine Dion part. <laughs> <laughs> that part. <laughs> it was very in the period in the first half, but it was sped up, it was way different. Yes, yes. But I totally remember that because I was like, is this Celine Dion in a cheat? <laughs> like, but yes, yeah, so this, that routine, I have it queued up if you want to see a clip of it, Leighton. You actually do? I found it. This one we're performing at the field house at a women's basketball game. Oh, wow. Um, when we only had seven mats, when yep. college competed eight. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this is a rough performance, that's for sure. How about you getting ready for nationals? Yeah. Oh, I remember this. Yeah, I do too. I love you. I love you. I'm on this middle shoulder stand. Look how young you look. My shoulders got so tore up from this thing. <laughs> Good old Kansas routine. So Lauren, you're uh, a song from your routine. Okay, so it was our elite sequence. And um, I just remember we were doing like round off rewinds and it was, um, uh-huh, uh-huh, walking on a wire. Something, 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 <laughs> So you don't you remember that. That. <laughs> the song, right? I remember the song after it. That's just a something. Then it's like party like a rock, <laughs> party like a rock, and that's all I remember. So party like a rock. Uh, <laughs> yes, okay, yes, that's yeah. the only one that Lauren actually. I wish I could remember the name of that song before it, because I was like, oh, it looks like I'm walking on a wire, <laughs> but I don't know what the song was. So. Um, I tried to Google it earlier. Walking on a wire. Walking on a wire was sung by Imagine Dragons in 2017, so I don't imagine you were doing elite stunts in 2017. 2017. Oh, no, 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 no
That wasn't it. So yeah, I don't know. Cause okay. I'm pretty sure Leighton made the mix because Tony was our choreographer. So probably. Yeah, yeah. more Wichita than Wichita State. More, yeah. Yeah, more than I've likely. So yeah. Well, from one of my first mixes that I ever produced myself and mm -hmm. performed was actually a partner seventeen. Nice. Sandy and I did. <laughs> <laughs> it's yes. actually on YouTube. I wish oh I had it. I probably should have sent you is that on, is it on YouTube or on Facebook? It's on my Facebook. It's on Sandy's Facebook. It's from Facebook. like 2002 or 3 for our All-Star Gym. For our All-Star Gym. So we're both in All-Star routine uh, uh, get-ups or All-Star all uh, uniforms. Oh uh, yeah. And um, <laughs> and I, that was the first time I've ever oh, mixed yeah, music for something I was going to do that we had to do. But it was... um. Circus tricks. Yeah, we were doing a hand to hand. It was right the first first time hand to hands were legal. Nice. And rewind. Just become legal. We did rewind the hands. We did rewind the hands. We catch two separate feet. Oh my gosh. And yeah. I'll see if I can find it. And I think the reason why I remembered it was because when we were done the next day, people were like, "We love the circus thing when you like put her up in a hand to hand." I was like, "Oh, okay." So. The, the emotion I wanted to, or the reaction I wanted, I got. It was like, Good. hey, we're doing a circus again. <laughs> Just like with the whole rewind when you were doing it. Yeah, totally. I have a big, um, what's it called? Audio, audio, audio cube. cube mm -hmm. Yeah. When it comes to, uh, yeah. So yeah, when I was editing videos like a year or so ago, somebody was like, you need more audio cubes. I was like, what do you mean? It's like, like watch some famous YouTuber. Anytime like, they're like being silly and like you see their hands, they're going to go, <laughs> and they're going to be like, ding. <laughs> you know, yeah. and it, like it, uh, it adds to your watching experience. Yes. Yes. And, yes, and we've talked about this on here before. Cheerleading is a, is a sport that's made to be watched. Yeah. Like yeah. if you're not having a you know a run through performance or other types of performance to get feedback and get eyes on it, you're not gonna do well. No. Mm -hmm. Like it's it's made to be watched. Yeah. You think about any think of dancing with the stars if they didn't have music. Right. Like if, oh, how lame. <laughs> like, oh my. Next top dance. I mean, it is. You need it. Mm -hmm. I wish. It, I wish. I honestly, though, on a side note, I wish the cheer world would gear their competitions toward towards you know the musicality portion of the routine. Mm -hmm. Like you just said, visual audio cues. Like what mm -hmm. you see matches. Like why not reward teams that you felt that. Yeah. But like, actually, like, not just put in the overall. Mm hmm. Yeah. Where it gets overlooked. Oh, she found it. It's so funny. Yes. <laughs> On every level, from the music to how young we were to the sun. You're going to hear the dun 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 A minute, it's like a 50, 45 second. Yeah. <laughs> and I definitely did a cop cop ECA at the end, too. Nice. <laughs> You've never seen that? Uh uh. Oh, you're going to laugh at Mario. Yeah, yeah oh these God. are some old school all star ones for sure. I love it. Oh, it's like funny. Nice got the, the announcement. <laughs> Yeah, early 2000s rock. Wait for it. <laughs> yes. <laughs> With the rewind to hands, that was good. Yeah. <laughs> well, I'll catch it. It's the top. way back. <laughs> oh, with the Texas twister. <laughs> now wait, everyone quiet. You need to hear how excited I am. <laughs> It's so funny, maybe you can help us, but it's on Facebook and we don't know how to get it off. Like it was posted on Facebook. Uh, maybe scream the short for the Someone somehow put it on 11 years ago. So it's Layton's video? And we can't figure out how to get it off. That's the only video we have. Let's <laughs> get it off there. And it's from longer than 11 years ago, but somehow he pulled it off of VHS. And put um, it on Facebook. My gosh. And then now no, we've tried to save it to our devices and we cannot.
not. Because it's an old so, one. Can you screen record it? Yeah, so, you that gotta, oh. so what you got to do is this part has to be cut. If Facebook ever goes down, we have no longer have a mark. The least you can do is video, mm -hmm. like, so screen, screen record work. it. And then it's like, it's not like the best quality or whatever, but at least it's something. So yeah, so the, the circus theme. Dun, 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 yeah, dun. And way to come full circle with uh, UCA this year. Uh, the show. So, oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that. That, so that is, yeah, that is true. There we go. Look at That's that. So funny. Um, random, because I'm a cheer nerd. Who was the originator of the ding ding? Do you know? To your best of your knowledge. Where did that come from? It came from a mad coach that <laughs> truly just couldn't hear the music when it started. Really? The so it half. came out of necessity it, yes. more than style. Yes. Okay. And I, it had cool. to originate from a music cheer music because at the end of the cheer, mm -hmm. most, most, most teams end up in a stunt. That's or, where the ding ding first started. And then now you hear ding dings at the beginning, beginning as well as the cheer side. But you're totally right. It Which, hasn't been. School side. Yeah, the ding ding at the beginning has to be because your entire fan base decided to come to Nationals and they're cheering for you. And yeah. if you miss that first beat mm -hmm. and yeah. start the routine, it's, there really is no going back. Yeah, yeah. for sure, so. especially if you're up in stunts. Oh, yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You're, if it's like you're that seven, eight mm -hmm. of the five. Oh, yeah. I have a mu I have a horror story. We're talking oh about high, high school cheerleading. <laughs> high school. So, yes, I'm still doing music. Like, I, I don't think we started a company yet. This was college. This no, we were cars. doing music, but we weren't making it. We weren't. We had we had started car special, mm -hmm. but um, we coached high school together. So we decided. I'm like, oh, I do music. Let me just put the minute pause in the middle. Yeah. Something that a lot of people do now. Common. Yeah, yeah, this was yeah. not common. Yeah, yes. so we do that every time now. But yeah. Corey, Corey never did. Probably till the end. Yeah. he was always two track in it. Yeah. Two tracks. Yeah, like you press pause crazy. in the middle. Typically, it was the two tracks, and you press pause because there's a gap, and then you press a play mm -hmm. until you're done. Well, I decided to just put it in the middle. Yeah. So we're at our high school regional competition, and Sandy and I are coaching a team, and they're using the gymnasium system, and uh, we're off this side. I press play, and her and I come to the front of the like off to the side, and we're watching the routine, and they're doing great. It's awesome. They get to the cheer, and her and I are like we're hitting. We're, so we're excited. doing great. And the student that was watching the house system, we were press play, oh, came so over awful. and tapped so my shoulder, and said, "Hey, I press pause for you because you forgot." Now, I had not put the, mm. like, it was just the one track with the one minute between. Yeah. And, and I was like, what? Oh, I, my God. So I went over there, and I, of course, music, music, and I'm, I'm hearing the cheer from them as I'm trying to use the pause, the, the rewind buttons to get it back to so one remember, minute and like, 42 seconds. Mm -hmm. And all of a sudden, I hear the last words, go, let's go, chief. So I'm like, press play. <laughs> it was halfway through the dance. Uh, they, they did not hear the ding ding. Oh, God. <laughs> uh, Some of them decided it? to keep doing the routine in the order. Others decided to try and go to where the music was. To just match you up. The music and, ends and they have to count the rest of the pyramid. They were completely oh, off. No. And uh, I mean, it was it was one of those uh, musical nightmares for a coach. Yeah. But, but yeah. it's funny because in our county, from that moment on, they were not no allowed. more house system. There was they got no a DJ. more house system. And they DJ got a professional system. Stay. And like it was so funny because he was also the only male, male. coach in our county yeah. of thirty-seven high schools wow. at the time. And so we were obviously upset. But apparently, it was a little bit too. too <laughs> but I'm a chair like, coach. I'm like, why would you touch it? I just didn't. Oh, oh my god, that was so yeah. Cool. That was a. My anxiety was like going up as you guys were telling that story. <laughs> I got my girl like I'm listening no, no, no. to it because I remember the motion like Because you were still at the front having yes. to watch and all, all of that. Sudden, like, oh my god, what's oh, happening? Yeah, yeah that's crazy. You, you see, and right there. What is the worst job to do at Nationals? Press play. Yes. <laughs> For sure. And yeah. that, that's to show how important I think music is. Like, uh, I forgot, Melanie Rad. Um, Melanie yeah. Radish. She's Melanie usually Radish. in the field house, yeah. That is the hardest job. She's the best at it. Like, She's so good. You're like, breathe. Like, she does a calm energy. Make, make sure you hear it. Yes. Press play, press pause. Yeah. Okay, then you're ready. I think so many people's routines. You can't put a minute pause in the middle of your chair, in your in the middle of your music, if you're deciding to end in a stunt and they're gonna do a stunt immediately afterwards. 
afterwards. Mm-hmm. If they're gonna come down, it's one thing, but if you're deciding to do a low to high or a high to high, you're not gonna want them to be up there because at this particular nationals, they decide to go much faster in the chair mm-hmm. than normal. Yeah. yeah, I would want to put it in uh, own alternate hands. hands, not my hands. <laughs> I don't want to press <laughs> hands. Yeah, you're not doing it anymore. I was gonna say that because oh, really? you were saying it's that important. They made it so it, it has to be a coach. It has to be yeah, a registered coach and nationals. You got this, Sammy. <laughs> no you got this. Way. Yes, you do. So, but luckily, because people like me and others who are the coach and they're like, no, I want to be able to sit and watch my team and my kid has done it all year. They're, if I can trust them to go perform in an alternate capacity, why can't I trust them to press play? And like, I've talked to Melanie Berry about it, you know, and she's been like, that's too much pressure for a kid. I'm like, I understand there's some pressure, but how is it any different from the pressure of holding up a teammate and stunting yeah. on our big stage on ESPN. Like, I feel like those are similar pressures. One has a camera, one doesn't. It might be because somebody, <clears throat> there probably was some issues where someone might have made a mistake. <clears throat> For something. sure, yeah. And so that's why I'm like, okay, yeah. so it can't, so you're making it be me as the coach, so I have to press play and run around the table or I have to sit and watch now at the music table. Right. So I'm like, okay, so we need to merge the music and coaches box. I have a nightmare story <laughs> from nationals when I was at Briarcrest. So we had gone the whole season, we'd gone to two different regionals, we'd gone to another competition, and like the whole time I had an alternate pressing play. And she practiced it at every practice, like she knew, like we have the mixed play app, so she knew it, like as soon as it's green, okay, it's good, I don't need to mess with it. So like she knew that was her role, just like you're saying, like either on the mat or off the mat. We get to nationals and we're in line to go get like lined up to go on for prelims. And, and this was the first year that they had this new rule. Right. So they come to me and they're like, hey, you and your sponsor need to come get the music set up. So I turned to the alternate. And I said, here you go. Like you can do, go do the thing. And the girl goes, no, no, no. It can't be an athlete. And I said, since when can it not be an athlete? And she's like, it's in the new rules. And I was like we didn't have this problem at regionals. Why is that? A, so it became like kind of this thing. And so our sponsor, um, sweetest woman alive, uh, she was like, I'll go press play. She is legally blind. And so the alternate had to take her finger and press play. And then they both had to just like not touch it because like <laughs> I didn't feel confident in them performing without me standing right at the front of the stage. Like she could see some things, but she, could, yeah, yeah, could not do not, that. She never liked when the girls texted her. So I, 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 remember, I remember. And so it ended up being like fine or whatever. But mm-hmm. um, talk about traumatizing when um, you didn't yeah. know that that was a new rule. When, oh. did they, when did this rule come out? This year? That was 2017. Mm-hmm. So a couple and years. Still- and maybe they just enforced it at high school. I'm not sure. But yeah, I don't know. I know that. I think in college, we all adults are an 18 year old. Yeah. You can't say 18 year old. Well, I guess, no, at uh, 2018 Nationals, they tr- they said it has to be an adult. And our alternate was 18, and they said, <laughs> she's 18, and they were like, it can't be an athlete. And I was yeah. Like, oh, yeah, because some of our girls, like, yeah. <clears throat> like, they wait for us to pick who. Yeah. Because yeah. if I don't pick somebody I don't trust, so right. they're like, mm-hmm. oh, oh, she trusts she me. She trusts me. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> like, it's like a thing. Totally. <laughs> practice it at every practice just like the girls practice yeah. on the on the mat mm-hmm. so like I don't they see- they understand that responsibility they understand the pressure mm-hmm. of like my team is counting on me like they're they're accepting of that smaller role yeah and they're gonna say I, I can do this for my team and, and so realistically if stinks. something messes up it's not like the whole team's going after that girl any good coach is like hey that's on me like don't don't yeah. do that that's on me mm-hmm. yeah. so I'm just like it's really you you brought the mix play app and that, that strong memory of me because that was Corey mm-hmm. yes. and IU and Nami. Okay, you. Oh, sorry. What, what did I say? IU. Oh, sorry. <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah, the two. <laughs> KU. You knew it. We love KU. Them. KU. We love yeah. Yeah. But with, with KU, but um, Corey, like at practices, I remember I was like, no, make him do make him do the music. And he's like, why? And I'm like, because when you get on the competition floor, they're gonna do it the music. Mm-hmm. The only time that they're not is when. The music messes up and then the whole crowd starts to count and they all yeah. count too slow or too fast. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So I'm not to that mix play app, like everything that I my philosophy on music, all from Corey, went into that app. Mm-hmm. Like like breaking it into pieces so you can do your lead. Yeah, because he would you'd send the music and he'd be like, Oh, just wait, count it up through the beginning to get to, you know, the pyramid yeah. or whatever. Because he didn't want to, you know, scrub and cue it up on an old we iPad. Still, I still use that. Yeah, well, we have it. We make our JB coaches have it yeah. um, as well. Mm-hmm. It's um, so helpful. But 
but yeah, so then I remember he'd be like, Layton's gonna answer, then you guys would talk on the phone, and you'd just email the clips, just like yeah. the mix play like does, the he'd make, you know, an Apple playlist, or iTunes playlist. Track one playlist. was the yeah, intro, okay. track two mm-hmm. was the leads, track three was, yeah. Yeah. It was really helpful with them to mm-hmm. do that. And then so Corey was like, I'm gonna make this into an app. Wow! Yeah. I did not know you, Oh, you that. didn't know that? No! Yeah. yeah. That's fascinating, because, like, obviously I love mixed play because mm-hmm. I get tired of just, like, counting things, and I'm like, here, have fun. Like, so, and the girls love it, too. They're like, have you, like, pieced out the music yet? And I'm like, <laughs> no, not yet. Or late in sitting edits, I need to wait, or, you know, what have you. So, that's cool to hear the beginning the, 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 yeah. of why yeah. Every time I sent out a mix it. from Cold Specialties at the mm-hmm. very bottom, if you have not... Please uh, download it's, this. App. It's so it's, easy if you're just a yeah. phone user to mm-hmm. get it from the email file yep. into a player, because mm-hmm. otherwise you have to go back to that email and hit play, play. every time. Mm-hmm. But this, you import it, and it's and it's done. It's all there. There's yeah. all of Lauren's mixes. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, they're all there. I'm gonna be the greatest. Hey, look, my I made it. Ready, set. See, I can tell you all the songs in all of our current mixes, yes. send you back to 2010. Eep, eep. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> Every time I finish a mix, I, I force Sandy to listen to the, to the to the mix, but not the songs, yes, but the lyrics. Mm. Like to see yes. if, to see if it tells a story, if it you know helps the team mm-hmm. out or highlights what they're doing. Or, oh, ending pyramid two years ago. It. Yeah. And you'll see what I mean by that when you pass the castle rock when we uh, go to uh, Douglas Smar. It's okay. it's my favorite and I always like for me personally, Scott doesn't love this, but I'm always like we have to have one Taylor Swift song in the mix. And so <laughs> to pull it from uh like a not big radio hit Taylor song, it's just kind of a random Taylor song, you put that in like got my feels. I was like, yes, throw <laughs> bricks, you can't break this castle, ending pyramid. It was great. I was very happy. Very happy. That's still my favorite. That's probably my favorite mix. I don't know if I have it. Oh, here we go. Yeah, it's yeah. Definitely on. on mix play. I have it. I have it. Do you? Right. You've gotten a new phone since then, so I don't know if you I have know, it. I don't think it's Because I have homecoming. Of that year. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Here no. it is at state when it plays. <laughs> Because it's like Ed Sheeran into Taylor, and they're super tight. So I know that they would approve. Yeah, she would sue us. Now, <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> so, I oh. so I have a question for you. Yes. How do you put how do you put a value on the music that you're paying for? Like it baffles me. Yeah. I get, I understand paying for those originals, mm-hmm. you know. But then, um, I just how do you? But then the, the but other then side the of other it, end yeah. of it too. There's people that that expect a mix to be ex- fifty bucks. Mm-hmm. Yes, mm-hmm. that yes. they're gonna use. And that's my that to me. I guess what I'm about to say is that goes into the values. We use it. You gave what our mix mm-hmm. was in August, yeah. end of August. We're gonna use it August, September, October, November, December, January, and February. Yeah, like Six I mean. Days a week. Yeah, you know, like, exactly. Like, we're going to use it 20 some days a month. Mm-hmm. We're gonna, it, There's a lot of value there. So, yeah, practice that. I saw your cheerleaders right before they got set for the elite or as they transitioned, you know, or as they're marking through it. Mm-hmm. Like, sounds like they're not tired of it yet. So, no, yeah. They won't be either. Oh. They won't be until they step off the mat after knock on wood finals and then they'll be like oh, okay don't play it again <laughs> but then we have two months off or three months off and we come back in may and start practices again and maybe we're playing just random music on our phone and we'll play a routine and they just light up and they're like oh i remember but, but this let's mark it and so like and stuff. i think it's timeless i honestly yeah. feel like they're timeless it's timeless because of the memories that's for sure well yeah. music is memories like how many of you yes. are driving in a car and you can hear a song and it immediately brings you to like a oh specific gosh. memory totally. someone's like childhood or college Time, or place yes yeah, so you can all of a sudden pop back to like an exact spot yeah mm-hmm. and that's yeah. the same way cheer music is 
for generations That's now too so because true. it puts them back to a specific nationals or a specific yep. event or a, a team they loved or you know what I mean so that, that music well, is memories for in, them in the uh, all-star world we're at, at, at um, wide world Mm -hmm. And somebody played, I think it was one of Patrick O'Brien's mix, like a Cherry Extreme mix. Mm -hmm. And the Disney worker was performing like Senior yeah. Elite's entire stunt sequence. And I'm, and I'm sitting there going, what is going on? <laughs> but he was literally a Disney like worker. Well, I mean, he, he, but he cheered. He cheered, I guess, in, mm -hmm. you know, in All Stars yeah, when, before he started. Right. Right. I mean, Senior yeah. Elite, I mean, that's like... <clears throat> The Lakers, yeah, you know, uh, like, yeah. Of the Yankees, like, yeah, the Yankees. Like, and if you're a fan I mean, of anybody, if you don't you're, hear, you know, yeah. if you hear, my heart will go on, and don't think of them, then right. you don't right. know All Star Cheerleaders, right? <laughs> That's so right. True. Yeah, like, well, I mean, their mix this year, somebody leaked it. That team didn't even get to post it online. Some a kid on their team shared it with the internet before, and uh -huh. some rogue account was like, "Hey, this is their mix," and so. <sighs> Uh, like send threatening messages like take it down you could be sued for this and the person was just like no I can't stop sending me threats because <laughs> they're like my dad's a lawyer stop sending me threats I saw these screenshots oh, I was like, those gosh. threats are kind of cringy but yeah. I understand their frustration in, in oh, yeah. their own excitement that they didn't get to announce it but I'm like you're the Yankees you're the Lakers like if you're sharing it with your kids, you gotta know what's going online. These kids live online. Yeah. Right, yeah. right. Yeah. That's the world we live in. But mm -hmm. that is sad. Yeah. yeah, I know, I know. It kind of stole the thunder. And then so I get the it. next week, somebody posted their sub sequence video before they did also. Uh, and uh, totally just beat them to the chase. And I'm like, cheer cheerleading is getting to a point where it's getting big. Like, it, it's getting to that mainstream appeal, like random. Disney workers, no random, <laughs> right? Like it's becoming that large where there's enough people where people want to know early. People want to know before it gets announced. They want the juice. And if, if if we don't if we don't get it back to where it, it used to be, where not used to be, but if people don't start using covers or seeing the importance of it, or just mm -hmm. like for example, the um, Queen um, uh, Bohemian Rhapsody came out, mm -hmm. and at the end of the day, you watched the movie and it was some covers because they were before being performed by somebody else. Yeah. But if you made a routine of all Queen songs, you can still convey the same, you know, mm -hmm. what you, the same, Emotions. or get across, you know, what you're trying to get across for that performance. Totally, yeah. With, you just have to make covers. sure you find a cover. Yeah. Like, that's the, that's more of the issue is, is the song that you picked already covered? Mm -hmm. Or you or on a wait list? Yeah. 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 Mm -hmm. Personally, for me, like why I like actual music in it is because it does invoke emotions. Like you said, yeah. you liked when you hear like '90s or like I'm the same way. Like throwback or country. old school. I love country. Like something that will, country, you know, I love country and music. Like make me excited mm -hmm. and connect me with a routine. I might not know the team, so yeah. like teams that have like I do like custom. <clears throat> lyrics as well but if the whole thing is custom and you don't know the backstory on that team mm -hmm. yeah. sometimes it's hard to have like an emotional reaction to what they're doing yeah totally for me fair. personally fair. totally fair. but i don't i could know nothing about the team and if they're everybody's. killing the routine <laughs> and the song is awesome yeah you're like wow i really enjoyed that totally. so totally. i feel like for me that's why i prefer there to be like real music I couldn't agree in there. more mm -hmm. I couldn't agree more yeah. with yeah. some cool voiceovers oh yeah, <laughs> yeah. with yeah, voiceovers just make it legit I mean like shoot the theme song for this like I was just sending you like little samples of beats and I was like can you just like put these together so it sounds like cheer music and you gave me something with <clears throat> an actual voice that sure. spells out mark through and it sounds so awesome and Lauren and I are always like around the house like because it just resonates with you we're cheerleaders so it's I'll be like mark through you'll, we'll pause and you'll go podcast, podcast. <laughs> <laughs> it's really yeah. obnoxious but that does happen around the house oh man um okay another question about music so Cheerleading has always kind of invoked a theme of, in my opinion, violence. Not necessarily trying to persuade people to be violent. It's just, I think it goes with the excitement, but like the gunshots and the gun reloading sound effects have always been a thing. You know, we're talking about audio cues. And then something that we used to joke about when we'd be at all the competitions is 
people would be like, go out and crush it. And then we'd see on social media start transitioning to go, go kill it out there. Uh, you guys are going to murder it. And it just kept getting, and we're like, slay. where is this? Yeah, slay. slay. And then it was like, where is this going? Like genocide? <laughs> Holocaust? Like, what are we alluding to? And so, you know, we joke about that, but more and more, you're just like hearing this. And then, so this leads into, I tweeted the other day about a mix for uh, Woodlands. The team name is Gunsmoke, which... That to me is a little violent in general because the only way to get gun smoke is to fire a gun, <laughs> which I, I'm a believer in guns, I'm a fan of guns, but you, this is a kid's sport. This is a youth sport. So this mix I'm about to play is for this team called Gunsmoke. So yeah, they have a little lyric video. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, so I that's see, just a, 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 you know the gist of it, and I'm like, it, sure, it's um, I think it's for a level six team, level five team, so it is older kids, older participants, but it's the but the audience, aspiring. younger I mean, kids, from exactly. That Everybody always talks about younger kids are watching, the younger eyes are on you, and I'm like, so are we failing? What's kind of hard on that is that from the producer's side, I don't know who produced it. Mm -hmm. It's a definitely a quality mix. Sometimes you get asked to produce things that was the, like the coach's idea. You're right. Coaches do ask for they things ask like that. With Clark, things. with Clark especially, like I can tell you right now, I don't, I don't like to put the word down. Uh, anything negative, mm -hmm. I don't like to put, you know, I don't use the gun sound effect mm -hmm. anymore. Um, I always, every, yeah, <laughs> everything I do, everything I produce, I always, like you said, I always keep in mind the audience. Mm -hmm. Well, I mean, it's, in it's, ours it's, this it's year, fun. remember in the first draft, it said, we about to kill it. Yes. And I was like, hey, can you pull that? And yeah. now, and it says something else. Now, I don't even remember what it says now. <laughs> but what, if, but in, the, in the current version, it doesn't take it away to yeah. not have that. So yeah, and so I, I think notice it was gone. So and I think in doing that myself, I think I had a realization of like, why does everybody else have to do it? You know, because yeah. in this case, and I agree, I don't think it necessarily was all on one. I think it was a combined uh, effort. Because that was probably uh, their theme, mm -hmm. and they ran with totally. it. Because I think this is a new <clears throat> team. It's it's just hard because it's a sensitive topic in this day and age. So For sure. it's totally. like where it wasn't even a thing 25 years ago when some of these gems came about, because some of the gems are 25 plus years mm. old. So true. Even 10 years. Yeah. Like, back to 2009. Like, yeah. how many gems mm -hmm. have been made in the last decade? But now, I would say, yeah, that's something to think about. Mm -hmm. Well, and like, I didn't, like, I know when we discussed this the other night when it was released, I was like listening to it and I'm like, I think you're being oversensitive. This is fine. And then it gets to the point where it's like, leave no survivors. Yeah, and it's that, it's that fine, fine line. I think all sports toe, like football tries not to be too violent with being a tackle targeting. sport and targeting, yeah, but as well as their off the field antics. I mean, it's testosterone filled, big men clashing on the field, gladiator style. So they're going to have those like egos and that kind of, um, I guess, attitude around it. And, you know, the NBA has gone through it with fights on the court and, and stuff so it's like <laughs> right. every sport kind of tiptoes that you know kind of troubled area i feel like if you want to direct cheerleading in any direction it all comes down to what you're scoring them on or what you're looking for you don't Absolutely. want to emphasize baskets so you, you make them worth less you know it's mm -hmm. like if you want if you want <clears throat> more appealing music or whatever then mm -hmm. you know Make it a little more of a of a, a if or of the, the, the broader picture. Do we want it to be all audiences? Yes. You know, because I mean, working at, at Varsity, we get complaints from the live stream or from video on demand. Just the routines. People be like, I can't believe you put this up on your site when it says this and this. And we're like, well, all music that comes through these competitions has to be clean and censored. Like, I don't know why you're complaining now. And then we listen to it and it's like. Well, that maybe was a little over the top. We we understand where that parent's coming from. Well, yes. Right, right. <clears throat> so that's where it gets tricky. But also leads us into our next topic. We have a daughter. You guys have a daughter. Yes. 
neither of them cheer, but we all know that everyone asks us, when is she going to start cheering? <laughs> like, I mean, they, people asked us the moment we said we're having a girl. I'm sure the same thing was for you guys. Just when is she going to cheer? Is she going to do cheers? She, she, well, she already cheers now because she's at USF practice. Mm. She knows how to. I think the first <coughs> word she knows how to spell was South Florida. Okay. Can you spell that in the fight song? Yeah. So okay. She knows how to spell South Florida like it's nothing. I will say this, and she just did our junior bowls, which I was like, could not wait for her to do this. Right. Oh. And she just did it for the junior bowls game, and she had so much fun, and it was so cute, and it was awesome. And she's around it, but I will say on the other side of it, we haven't really exposed her to that little kid's cheer mm. yet. Like, she thinks that the big girls cheer. Okay. And um, game we, in yeah. the game environment, like she really has only seen school cheer. Mm -hmm. Sometimes she gets a little confused on, she definitely is a bull, but I grew up in a college town. All of her aunts and uncles that are our friends go to all these universities. Mm -hmm. So sometimes she's just like, wait, what mascot are we today? What game are we going to? This, but she really That's a only, Hoosier. Yeah. <laughs> I, mean, I think she has like, Ohio State shirts, Indiana shirts. I mean, she has all these things That's from all so her great. aunts and uncles, but she really only knows like the big kids mm. and like college school yeah. cheerleading. Cool. In terms of like her herself doing cheerleading, like if she wants to do it. After she does swimming, after, soccer, volleyball, right, we've kind tennis. of exposed her <laughs> to, she's the been sports. swimming, she's been swimming for a long time. She's like a pro. In gymnastics. Yes. <laughs> she's a pro swimmer. She asked Layton if she could do karate. I was like, okay, for real. If she wants to do it, then we'll want her to do mm. it. But I'm not gonna, I don't want to put her in it well. because it's something we love. I want so, her to pick what she loves mm. and then, if she decides she wants to cheer, then we'll support her 100%. Yeah. And um, if she decides she wants to do something else, then we'll, we'll be fine with that. We'll and you do? Too. Similar, yeah, because I mean, both of us played at every sport we could as a kid, similar to what you're saying. So I think we're going to do that. Definitely, probably some tumbling, gymnastics. Oh, yeah, yeah I want her in gymnastics. Just good body everything. control and yeah. strength as a kid, regardless. Um, I'm growing up. My mom was always like, "I should have signed you up for ballet." My dad was like, "No, you shouldn't." <laughs> <laughs> I did ballet. I yeah, did. My it, sister's did I too. truly did everything. Like I tried soccer. Didn't like running so much. But then I got into high school, and I was really good at track, and I loved track, mm -hmm. and like even was like close to getting a state title with track. So like. Whatever she wants to do, did I see myself ending up as a collegiate cheerleader? Absolutely not, but that's where I ended up. So like, mm -hmm. if she wants to do all the other things, like by all means, but you are the first one to be like, I'm getting panel mats for the living room, but I'm like, she can't even. This is more, this is more <laughs> she really can't even hold on. Yeah. <laughs> He's like deter or like when you pick her up, you're like, okay, lib leg. I'm like, let's wait on the chair. Like I don't think I'm ready. But that's encouraging to hear that Bryn only knows um, big girl cheerleading. Mm -hmm. If the first word she says is not mama or dada and it's county, I'm gonna lose my mind. It's <laughs> like that's all she hears all the time. Yeah. You know? It so, will be though. Oh, that's so funny. She, does, she doesn't. Uh, our, um, Bryn doesn't call them cheerleaders. She, she calls, calls them the green, the green goals. Oh. Because oh that's a call. she calls them. The, she said, "We going to Green Goals practice." We're like, "Yes, we're going to USF." We just know <laughs> the Green Goals. So and she cute. also like will tell people she goes to a new school, and her teacher told me that she's like, "My mom knows Rocky," and so <laughs> like, oh, she's oh, that's a big real, deal, real big into like the mascots. Yes. and actually, so she fun. went not this year, but last year she went with us up to Chula for mm -hmm. um, college camp to visit Layton, and all she the mascots. is obsessed with the mascots. So now we have. She's met like all the mascots up there. She really, really likes Obby. But we have two different <laughs> mascot <laughs> books that she reads at nighttime. Awesome. And she like goes through and there some of them one's SEC and then one's USF. Oh, but yes, she can name awesome. like the mascots from school. That's so great. Because that's what she thinks of. That's awesome. Yeah, she's that's like so into cool. it. That's that's really neat. Are you going to be like that? Are you going to know all the mascots? Shoot. And I feel with kids, you either love the mascots or they're terrified. So luckily, they like them. Them. <laughs> luckily, she loves them. Because I feel like the other on the other end of the spectrum, that'd be so frustrating. Yeah. Like, oh my gosh, it's just a person. In a <laughs> 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 I remember my mom would be like, tell my siblings, I'm sure she, she said that to me when I was little. It's just a person in there, they're wearing gloves and a Halloween mask. And, but my mom was always like that about everything, watch a movie. That's fake blood. <laughs> <laughs> We're not real guns. 
That's cute. You have a very good mom. Yeah, she was good. But yeah, I, I also, since we live in Colorado, I'd love to see her do some cool snowboarding or ski and stuff. Yes, that's Ooh. why she has to do gymnastics yeah. so then we can throw her on a snowboard and be like, trick out, let's go. Like, and then I'll just sit with my hot chocolate at the bottom and read a book and you and guys can I'll video because I know how to like snowboard Snow enough, okay. yeah, but yeah. not like trick because yeah. I started way too late. Wouldn't that be cool if she was in the Olympics for snowboarding? <laughs> she's never seen, she's never skied. Mm -hmm. Been on snow. We've been on planet trip. Okay. I don't like the cold either, but we can do it for like a week. Well, we can wrap this up. Thanks for being on, being on our podcast, guys. This oh, is fun. This is fun. Yeah, yeah, told you you'd do fun. Yeah, just, no, this is talking, chatting, yeah, cheers. Yeah. So, yeah. That's why we like it, because we do this anyways. We'd just be on the couch with yeah. the dog. <laughs> so, you know, so why not record it for a half hour and, and celebrate cheerleading? Because yeah. cheerleading's growing. we got to all kind of dive in and lift it up. Remember when, um, can I tell this story about you real quick? Sure. So we were looking for this one password <coughs> on an account that we hadn't opened since late. It I was, did. Oh, yeah. It, it was, was a, it was an iTunes. Apple ID. Apple ID. So it was from his very first iPhone. So I guess the iPhones came out in like, mm. what, like 2007 or something? Yeah. Like, and yeah. we couldn't figure out what the password was. So we had to go to the security questions and we were on like the first security question that was the easy answer. And second the one second was, one was, what is your dream job? Future dream future job. Future dream oh, job. Oh man, and, from a and decade it, and a half ago. And so Layton and I just paused and this is him answering it. And I go, I don't know what should I put in. And he was like, put in cheerleading. And so we put in cheerleading and it worked. Sure enough. Sure. It yes. worked. And then I was like, what? oh my God, isn't it funny though that you wrote that? Because if you fast forward, like, I mean, Cheerleading has brought us so many opportunities and it's really Same. been like yeah. so yeah. huge for us. And not only is it our livelihood and our living and what we do, but we love it. We also have the coolest friends that are also family and yeah. everything because yeah. of it. Yeah. It's such a cool, cool industry. It really is. We're, yes. we're happy to be a part of it. And I know like, it's just great how the, the friendships that are made and they are truly the friendships that have that have lasted a long time and I think really will last forever. Like we're gonna be 60 years old, like. Watching demos or watching routines. Yeah, <laughs> and, just, and just hanging out with the Watching the pro cheer league. And I wouldn't. Whatever, whatever it evolves to. I wouldn't have it any other way. It's, um, I'm not awesome. the Olympic. Cheer Olympic uh, watch parties at our yeah. houses going, all right, come on. And yeah. we'll like play will be there. <laughs> now, why after, uh, at, in the second half on your pyramid, did you guys <laughs> not hit? Did you answer that for us, coach? Thanks. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Scott from the mark through. Yeah, why'd you guys drop in the opening? <laughs> uh, uh, do you want to answer that one? <laughs> Yeah, so that That's would funny. that would literally be the worst part that could ever change in cheerleading. Oh we had goodness. to do press conferences yes. as coaches yeah. post performance. You know what? You heard it here first, though. It's gonna happen. You heard it here first. <laughs> Look for it on TikTok. Yeah. We can make fun of it. <laughs> yeah. You ready for this? Who live is this? Who lit is this? Who real is this? We too legit. We are M A R K T A R U Mark through. Podcast. Listen and learn, watch and observe, challenging us, they got some nerve, we great, you mad, don't hate, get to it, don't wait, we do not hesitate, we doing what it takes, what we do, walk through.